What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Eric and in today's video I wanted to give you guys a update on one of my vehicles. Now if you guys read the title of the video, it did get hit. Now I was involved in a hit and run and somebody actually rear-ended me. They did pull over and um, they tried to fight me. Uh, so in today's video, I wanted to kind of do like a little sit down uh, style type of video and kind of just update you guys on that issue that I had. So I'm going to try to make this video uh, short and simple. Uh, basically what happened is I was driving my P11, my manual daily P11. I was driving it home from work uh, and then um, I was stopped at a intersection about to make a right uh, getting off the freeway and um, basically a Ford Fusion rear-ended me now this wasn't like a you know high-speed rear end or anything like that I was completely stopped and they were coming to a stop and uh, their take on what happened was that they were under the impression I guess that I had already made the turn so he decided to just not look uh, in front of him and he was kind of looking more towards the left side to see if traffic was still coming so i i think he was distracted i think he was on his phone um so um that's what ended up happening he, happening he ended up hitting me on my uh driver's side rear quarter panel um and uh i'll throw a clip of of the damage here um it's not big at all or anything like that it's a very minor uh damage to the vehicle um so the guy, you know, he hit me, he, he pulled over and um, he basically, you know, he was a little upset because uh, he thought that I had already gone and he was kind of trying to be a jerk about it. So normally when you get in a car crash, the first thing you should do is try to call the police uh, so that there can be like a statement, you know, of the of the crash. Um, if you don't call the police and you guys just kind of agree and, you know, there's not like an official paper on what happened then that's when things can get a little bit uh challenging um to get settled you know so you should always try to call the police so that they can get a statement so that we can see who was at fault now as soon as i tried calling the police this guy kind of got in my face and was telling me if i call the police that he's gonna leave uh so he was kind of in my face kind of threatening me he looked like he wanted to fight me, and honestly, I was kind of scared because this guy was like six feet something, huge guy. So I'm 5'7", and I obviously didn't want to get my ass kicked. So I, you know, did hang up the phone, and he started to calm me down. But, you know, this the, during this whole time, I knew this was kind of fishy from this guy because uh, you know, normally when you don't call the police, that's because you're trying to hide something or... You did something bad, right? I kind of regret doing that because this guy, up to this point, uh, kind of got away with that hit and run because I haven't been able to track him down. Um, so that's one of the mistakes that I did. But uh, I'm I'm glad that it wasn't something big. The airbags obviously did not deploy. Very low speed crash. The guy ended up leaving the scene after I phoned the police. And um, he, he um, was in a hurry to get out of there. So I think he was hiding something or maybe he had some warrants against him um, so I did manage to get a picture of his uh, license plate it turns out the vehicle was a rental um, so uh, I ended up calling the rental company I ended up letting them know what happened providing them the details they did find out who that vehicle belonged to uh, I, I guess whoever you know was renting it at the time, but um, according to them, they couldn't really release any of that contact information due to legal reasons. Uh, so you know, I was like, whatever, you know, just I want him to be held responsible for what he did. So the insurance company was pretty helpful. They uh, they were nice about the whole process. They sent me an estimate. I agreed to that estimate. It was a thousand dollars that they ended up sending out to me which is like I said more than enough I not really I wasn't really looking for money I just wanted him to be held accountable so uh, I kind of just let things go from there um, I haven't pursued trying to find him anymore um, so karma is just gonna have to get him sooner or later so um, I did want to let you guys know the situation I wanted to kind of hear your guys's uh, opinion on what you guys might have done differently uh, obviously when you're in the situation the last thing you want to do is you know try to get in a fight with people and I was just trying to you know stay out of trouble so um, I did just want to update you guys like I said on this story 
Let me know in the comment section below what you have might have done differently. Let me know if I'm being a Karen or a Ken <laughs> with this situation. Um, you guys see the pictures in the footage. It wasn't a big crash. But like I said, I, I wasn't doing it for the money. I was doing it for, you know, the purpose of being held accountable for his actions. It's a principle of things, I guess you can say. Um, so let me know in the comment section below. If you guys did like the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Hopefully I don't make any more videos like this because it's never fun to get in an accident. But I did want to share you guys uh, the story with what happened. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace out.